I'm Emma here on a very sunny blue carpet in London for the world premiere of The World's End. First up, can you tell us the inspiration behind the film? When I was a, a young and foolish teenager, I attempted to do a pub crawl in my hometown and it went very badly wrong. I then also tried to get Simon Pegg and Nick Frost to do it with me in my late 20s and that went even worse. And at that point I decided that maybe this was a bad idea but maybe it could make a good film and there was something interesting in uh, seeing kind of uh, old friends trying to recreate something from their youth. It's kind of like going to the pub with your sort of older, cooler brother and um, at first thinking you can't open your mouth because you're not going to say anything funny enough or smart enough and then suddenly you get over yourself and just have a really good time. <laughs> and of course, the, the men regressing back to boys and you're really the adult amongst them. What was that dynamic like? Yes, well observed. Isn't that how, isn't, isn't, isn't that just mimicking real life? No, I just, no it was, um, it was quite nice. In, in a film like this, I quite relished being the responsible one. Just kind of, um, you know, it's, she, she's been sort of chased by these boys ever since she was 16 years old. And I think finally she's a sort of woman with the gumption to tell them where to put it. My character's called Stephen. How does he fit into the gang? Stephen is a little bit of the guy who wanted to be the leader of the gang, but Gary overshadowed him always in every department, even stealing his teenage love from him. So he's the guy who always wanted to... He's probably the coolest of the gang, actually, and that's true in real life. But, um, yeah, he was always overshadowed by Gary. Uh, we're all friends. We, we all know each other's work and we, we've been around enough now to know these guys write, write great films. Edgar's a great director. He, he's a genius. He's walked it, he's made it in his head already. The fight scenes, the fight scenes are amazing. There's one fight scene in particular that's going to blow people away. A big fight scene, you know. And what do you hope that audiences will take away from the film? Uh, I hope they. I hope that it, it, it mirrors like a night out drinking for them in terms of it's like it's it. Hopefully they'll find it funny. It's emotional. It's action packed. There's a lot of drama, and uh, you know it ends in like a sort of an explosion of liquids of sorts.